We are working as a network on um, the new reform of agriculture policy in the European Union beyond 2013. So um, we are interested in what the other players in the field are doing and what the, their opinion are. So that's why I'm here, listening and talking to people. What would you say are the main challenges of the future? In particular, uh, Mr. Franz Fischler said something very interesting about balancing food security with environment security. What's your perspective on that? Yeah, he's totally true. I mean, what he said um, is very, very important. I mean, we have the climate change problem. We have the problem of water scarcity. We have the problem of, of um, uh, increasing world population so um, on the other side we we have less and less biodiversity in our earth we have less resources like water soil and um, so it's 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 crucial really to find solutions to produce more and and um, well to to leave space for for biodiversity and um, actually Actually, I think we have to think about possibilities to, to, well, let's say, to give people in developing countries the opportunity to really to produce more, but with less input. You know, it's um, our opportunity. Our opinion is they they don't need um, more, let's say, pesticides, more fertilizer. There are other possibilities. Organic farming, which is not the certified organic farming, but l let's say low input farming, and they can use it. I th I, we, we believe that the European Union is not, let's say, the corn chamber of, of, uh, of the world. We are not supposed to produce the food for the world. I think they are, as um, for example, the, the representative of this Russian, this farmer with the 300,000 hectares. Um, I mean, there are other regions in the world where there's still a lot of capacity for producing, yes.